Hi everyone and welcome to another car boot haul. It was very quiet at the car boot this morning. I went to the local one I normally go to that I like. But there was only two full rows, so four rows technically of cars. It took me only 20 minutes to get round it twice, at least twice. Some stores went to three times. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, very quiet this morning. It is end of the season, even though they carry on till Christmas, but because of the cold and damp weather, I don't think people came out today. But I still found a few bits. I spent 18 pounds in total. I'll do like I've done for the last couple of videos. I'll flash up on the screen what I think I'll be able to get for the items on eBay. Most of these prices that I flash up do include postage as well, so just bear that in mind and fees, obviously. But it gives you a general idea of what things will go for. So without any further delay, I'll show you what I bought today. This is a quick overview. So when we were let into the car boot, I went to the back of the stalls, the two rows, and I seem to have a radar for Lego at the moment. I literally homed in on this stall because I suddenly saw there was Lego, so I went straight there. Grabbed this straight away. It's a Lego movie, Benny's Space Squad. It's got four minifigures in. Now, it was all in the box, but it's all been... I put it in my bag and it all got mixed together with some other stuff. But I did manage to pull out these four figures. So I know it's got the four figures. Really cool. I love Benny. He's my favourite character from the Lego movie. It's just really funny. But yeah, that's Benny Space Squad. So it has got the characters. So I'm hoping that all the other bits are in here. I did see uh, this bit belongs to it. So I'm hoping it's in there somewhere. <laughs> so she wanted two pounds for that. I then asked her how much she wanted for this creator set. Again, it was just in a box. I don't know if it's complete or there. She wanted three pounds for that, which I thought was okay. She then said, did you want any of the bits out of this box I couldn't match stuff up with? And I thought, yeah, there's lots of nice bits in there. It's like an ice cream truck, things like that. Things from the Friends. Uh, theme because it had a couple of minifigures in there. I think there's another one somewhere um, But yeah, it's like some sort of ice cream truck there's Another figure there a City one uh, So I literally said well How much did you want for the box because I wasn't just gonna take a few random pieces out of it because you never know some of the bits for these Items might be in here. So she said two pounds so it came to £7, which I thought was a good deal. I didn't barter her down because it was literally just open, so there was no point. Um, and I thought for all that, £7 was a good price. So yeah, that's what I paid for that. I don't know what I'll do with this. I'll see if there's a set in there. Um, if I can find it, I'll try and put it together. If not, I don't know. I've got a lot of loose Lego at the moment uh, that I don't really know what I'm going to do. I, ideally, I'd like to open a Bricklink store, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Next, I'll just show you these first. I just saw them on the floor on a stall. Halloween's coming up this month, so I thought these would be ideal for Halloween for someone. Asked her how much, she only wanted 50p for both of them, so I grabbed them. I should easily be able to get my money back on those. Um, I will look them up, see if I can find them. Then I found another stall. First thing I saw on it was this. It's a Peter Fagan bear called Blaze. I've picked up Peter Fagan colour box stuff before, if you watch my channel. It doesn't always sell on its own very well, but it's a nice big piece, it doesn't look too damaged. Um, I will look it up, see if it sells on its own. If not, I'll, I've got a bundle of stuff waiting to go up, so I'll just bundle it all together with that. On the same stall, I saw this lying on the floor. Um, I knew exactly what it was straight away. It's a real Ghostbusters werewolf monster figure. Still works a little bit, not brilliant, but it still moves a little bit. Uh, yeah, so this was 50p, so I grabbed that straight away. I know I can make more than 50p on that. And then she also had this, it's a Playmobil box. It's actually got the brand on there, Playmobil. Um, and it had all this like pirate stuff in it. So again, asked her how much she was. Again, it was only 50p, so I thought, perfect. I'll bundle, bundle all that up. I don't know if the cases sell on their own. I will look up the case to see if it sells on its own. If not, I'll just bundle it with the pirate stuff. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I might get more than 50p for that, hopefully. 
And then the final stall, there was a couple of girls selling tons of Star Wars stuff and dolls and things. So perfect for me. That's the kind of stall I like. Homed in on these uh, bears and things. I literally had to grab them um, and then asked how much they were. So we have a talking Jawa, perfect for my <laughs> YouTube channel. Uh, it does make noise. So that's cool. Um, she wanted £3 for that because it's new, um, which is fine. And there's a Jawa, I was going to buy that anyway. <laughs> there's a Wicket. This is from the 90s, I think. 1997, so like when the special editions came out. It's like a beanie. It's a little threadbare in places, but it's 1990s, so it's vintage. I don't know how much that'll be again. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. That was a pound. Last Star Wars plush I picked up was this for Princess Leia. I've never seen this Princess Leia Build-A-Bear before. It didn't have the hat on on the floor, but I found it in amongst everything, so I put it together. Um, the thing I noticed first of all was this belt. I knew exactly that was Princess Leia. Uh, so yeah, that was three pounds. I don't think it's got any noises or anything in it, which is fine. It's probably batteries would have run out by now anyway, but it's a cool thing. It's got like buns, <laughs> hair piece and all the clothing. So yeah, I'll put it on the screen if I can find out how much that one is. But yeah, that was three pounds. And then I saw this cute little thing. It's a pangolin. And I saw the label sticking out, Wild Republic, and I grabbed it because Wild Republic sells uh, good quality plushes and they seem to sell really well. That was a pound, so brilliant. So that was eight pounds for all the plush. Then I had to peruse around the stall. I saw this Chewbacca pencil case. I've sold this before. Brand new in the packaging. Um, and it was 50p, even though it says 20p on there. <laughs> Don't quite know what that's from, but maybe a previous sale. But yeah, 50p on that, which is fine. I was gladly happy to pay that. And then the last thing I found uh, from their store was this purse wallet. And you're probably wondering why there's £3.35 sat there. Well, when I got it out, when I was setting this up, I heard it jangling, so I opened it up and there was £3.35 in there. Uh, which is pretty random. Uh, this was 50p, so yeah. I spent £18, but then I've got £3.35 back, so just under £15 I spent today, technically. So that was a bit of luck, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, for a damp October morning, not done too badly today. Let me know what you think in the comments, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon with another haul. Again, like I said last week, car boots are on their way out this year, so I am apologise now if the car boot hauls are a bit few and far between uh, till next year. But yeah, fingers crossed to get to a couple more by before Christmas. So take care everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!